I'm not unfit. I'm just taking it all in. Look at this rock. It's a cool rock. Look at it. You seen a rock like that before? So it's our last day in um, the hotel that we've been staying in and so we're just doing a big shot because the next like supermarket will be Coopapedi. So what Joss and I do is we like get meat and we like put it in little bags like we'll have that's like one meal, that's one meal and stuff like that. Um, so just eliminate like this type of waste and... It's not really eliminating waste because we're using Ziploc bags but because we have a tiny, oh, yeah. tiny freezer. Does that mean you're inhaling like yucky raw meat? No. Look at that. Yeah. Well, I don't know, maybe it's Anyway, maybe it's just a bit more organisation, we like to do it. Yeah, no environmentally friendly. No, it's not. We could probably reuse the bags, wash them. No. <laughs> We've got to pack all our stuff again from the hotel into the car, which gives us a good opportunity to clean and downsize. Reorganise. That's too close. Yeah, it was. Three, four months, four weeks in Alice. I'm sick. In this of, tiny little room. I'm sick of this little room. <laughs> but it's been good. It's been very good. We've been very lucky to. A, pick up work, and B, include a hotel room. Yeah. Um, it is just a little studio, but honestly, it's been so nice to spread out and... Have power, have, have internet. Have power, have a shower, have a bed. So now, yeah, we're just going to pack it all up into the car, because we leave... Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. After back on the road, right? back in the tent. Yeah. Joss and I are in the car, leaving the hotel. Heading out of Alice. Four weeks in Alice, it went pretty bloody quick. It um, went so quick. We'll show you some things we did in Alice. Yeah. Um, but Megan was pretty busy working and I was doing sales travel stuff and bits and pieces, so. So really only on the weekends we went out exploring West Max, East Max, a uh, few things in town. So uh, we made the most of our time here for sure. Yeah, we enjoyed Alice, I think. We were, I loved Alice. Yeah, we were pleasant, pleasantly surprised at how I don't know, it was, there's a fair bit to do here, good coffee. So much to do here, yeah, good food, plenty of bars to like check out, and yeah. just the scenery, like, this is obviously the Todd River, which is hella dry, <laughs> but even all these ranges are like right near town, um, I don't know, it was just beautiful um, for a town that's so small, has a lot to offer. Night, we're camping. At a place called? Rainbow Valley. Rainbow Valley. So we'll get there for sunset and just get our groove back. Yeah, it's been a bit weird. <laughs> Living out of a hotel with the luxuries. Now we're back, back into this. I think we're organised though. We're, we're, we're always organised. I feel like we're pretty organised. Yeah. Seven. Nine. <laughs>
That's how I do my nines. I do a seven first and then make it a nine. City, country. Should we just do Perth? Mm. Country? Number in group. Two. Best contact. What the fuck? Why do they need to know a number? It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna write Instagram. It. No. Relevant comments. Just got here. Don't know yet. What do we write? Just say well kept. This person here. Cannot believe the wonder. They've obviously just come straight up from Adelaide. Like air. Not as big as in the books. True story. It's Rainbow Valley. I just pulled up for the night at Rainbow Valley. Um, really good campsites again, $6 a night. Uh, little fire pit. And so far we're the only ones here in the bush campsite, which is just how we like it. This is a 4X man now. Yeah, just cracking open a 4X and watch NRL Grand Final. Go the... Stars. We are doing the shorter route, but it's on an unsealed road that we don't know the conditions of. Yeah, what's it called? What does that say in the yellow? Tim, you dog. Tim, you can see that. Maybe Tim told me that the road's smooth and it's not. <laughs> no, it's um, it's about is it 100k shorter? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's considerably shorter, so we're just going to give it a go. The start of it looks fine. Um, so yeah. But we'll it's 100k long. But it's 100k, so it's shit, it's gonna be real shit. Um, so yeah, we'll let you know. Hello? This is a meteorite hole, crater. crater. So it's a crater, but really, if anyone's grown up on a farm, it just looks like a big hole. A big hole. Where's the meteorite? Now, apparently, this is where two meteorites crashed. Oh, it's still pretty cool. I've, I've seen a bigger one before. <laughs> it's nearly off. <laughs> and that? <laughs> How many times have we almost lost this? <laughs> a few. Now, Three? Once we lost it for a while. Found it. So, ow, I'm stuck in the doorway. <laughs> The first time we lost that aerial thing was in Emma Gorge yeah. and it literally came off it to like drive back and find it and then the second time was in the bungles, the, bungles yeah. the bolt thing fell off and I think that was the third time it always came off. I've tightened it up a few times and like I even tightened it up yesterday. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. And this road is not even that bad. It's been actually quite good. I think um, I think it yeah just doesn't unravels. tighten up properly. Let's do it. We've got to get up to the top, right up there. It says three to four hours, but I feel like that bit there just gonna take me three to four hours. <laughs> We're not at our fittest. <laughs> Remain two meters from all cliff edges. Okay, let's do it. Halfway? Are we? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 
Lisa. Just hear our panting. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm not on fit. I'm just taking it all in. Look at this rock. It's a cool rock. Look at it. Have you seen a rock like that before? Um, we've reached a plateau now. Um, we did those steps pretty quick actually. Took over a few people. And yeah, the view is just really. It's, um, it's real sweat. I'm a high performance athlete. Athlete sweat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cool, cool. Okay. Check out the view. Ready, athlete? Yep. Which That's way? That way. Give us an update, Joss. Um, three hours in. <laughs> nah. I'll tell you. Hang on. Only, it's only been 16 minutes since we started. We've climbed, we've done all the climbing, I think. Yeah, I think so. All the steep stuff. And I'm fine, I didn't miss a beat. <laughs> hardly, got a, hardly got a puff up, a bit of a sweat up. Um, not much more to report. Yeah, I must get a bit of water flowing down here. Oh, God damn. Probably this. In F1, you call this a DRS train. <laughs> You're stuck behind people and you can't overtake them. <clears throat> We're at the top now of the King's Canyon. We're doing this little lookout, like detour. You gotta jump over these cracks. Don't step on the crack. Break my back. I swear she just goes to the edge to piss me off. Like you can imagine what it's like. It's just a steep drop. You don't have to look at it, right? Oi! What's she gonna think she sees down there? Like, what's gonna be down there, huh? There's a pond of water. Oh, water, pond of water. Lucky she checked. Lucky you checked. Maybe we should tell the rangers. Lucky you risked your life. We just found some water down there. We didn't find it, we, we found just it. saw it. Oh, we saw it. <laughs> well, we don't know who else has found it. But imagine if you're lost in the desert, right? There you go, story time. And you're just walking, like, because it's so flat, and then it, like, yeah, it drops off. So if you, like, climb down the canyon, like, and you were starving for water. I'm serious. Thirsty. Thirsty for water. And then you stumble across this, in, like, the middle of the dry season, you'd be laughing. As long as you don't fall off a cliff. All right, time to go, apparently. Start it up. Garden of Eden. Who knew it was here? <laughs> The biblical story. But you didn't know that, Megan. What? That the Garden of Eden was here. No, I didn't. 
Is this where the apples are? Yeah, ready ones. You can't eat them? No. Pretty hungry. There's like a decent water hole here, but no swimming allowed. Pretty cool. What are you saying? Nothing. You were saying how it's cool that there's a whole ecosystem down here. Lilies, water, Fans. palms. Oh yeah, palms. Ferns, palms, palms. Palms. Then like heaps of bird life. Uh, so we've just done the King's Canyon Rim Walk and we decided not to stay at the, I think it's the resort because we heard it's around 60 bucks a night for unpowered. Yeah. Roughly that, which we thought was a bit of a rip off. Um, so we're heading back towards Uluru um, and we found a free camp on Wiki which has good reviews. So um, yeah, which is only about an hour south of um, Kings Canyon. So we're heading there now and see what it's like. These little birds everywhere. They're in my tires. Yeah, they're in the tires. What's yeah. the price? Oh no. What? Two ninety nine. Oh, two ninety nine point nine. Shit. We think we can see it already, but I don't know. Fifty two k is a long way. Yeah. 